Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have so many videos I'd like to catch up on. Uh, I know there's a few tags going around out there. I haven't been watching uh, too many videos. I'm still trying to catch up on like Hemingway Jones. Love his videos. He's like a, his videos are like a masterpiece. Um, but I was tagged by uh, my friend Sarah at Fountain Pen Insanity. She's so super sweet and her daughter Eve, and I love the connection that her and her daughter Eve have of uh, sharing a fountain pen journey together. And my fountain pen journey uh, short story was sort of inspired by my mother, but we never got to share uh, that together. Long story, I'm not gonna digress, but I love seeing the interaction of the two of them together. It's just, it's super sweet. Anyway, she tagged me and I don't remember the name of the tag. I think it's called the Rainbow Ink Challenge, but I'll put it here. And everything that I use here and the people that I tag in the video, I will list in the uh, comments below so you can uh, see that for yourself in case you can't read my handwriting. <laughs> so I'm using uh, the Sweet Freckle Designs. I've been using this um, planner this year just to keep track of the inks I've been using every month. So I could just go back and reflect what I was into. This is what I used in May. <clears throat> I have it stamped out for the rest of the year. And just some swatching. As I go through, sometimes, um, you know, like a friend sends me a sample and I swatch those. Uh, I did an ink comparison of uh, Ancient Copper and Organic, uh, Organic Studio Oscars Copper. I have a video about that if you want to see it. But And then I just add some doodles and some painting. Um, so anyway, on to the challenge, and it is, I'm not great with rainbow colors because I don't do pinks and blues and purples. It's just not my comfort zone, but I'm going to struggle through this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with the pink, and the closest thing I have to pink in my collection is Colorverse Brunch Date. So, and I'm just going to swap them because I, it's just easier with all of these inks. And I'm sorry, I'm not inking up all of these pens because that means I have to clean all of these pens. So, oops, where's my ink rag? My ink cloth from my friend Gail. shaky. I just had coffee. Okay, and I'm just gonna rest my Q-tips here. Sorry. All right, and I'm just gonna, for time's sake, I'm just gonna uh, uh, put the name down with a ballpoint pen. Okay, haters, relax. This is about the ink. And if I if I was to fill it in with, um, you know, like a fountain pen like this, it's gonna. It's just gonna, just gonna take up too much space on the page and I wanna fit all nine inks here. Uh, so the first person I'm going to tag is Michael Tapscora at Tapscora. And he's relatively new uh, from what I can see. I found his videos uh, maybe like six months ago, but his 
style is so, it, it's like worthy of like a cinematography award. He's definitely in a separate class. His videos are just beautiful. His voice is calming. He really enjoys luxury items, but not um, not an overabundance of them. Simplicity, and it just go check go check him out. I think he's gonna do really well in the fountain pen community. I really really enjoy his videos, and I'd like to I'd like to see more from him. Okay. Uh, oh, I should have done that with my. Maybe I'll do these with my fountain pen. Okay, we'll do that. I'll use the boy, ballpoint on that side. <clears throat> see, I'm not professional at all. You want professional? Go say Mike. Not me, Michael. Okay. Um, okay, so here we go. Here's the color verse. Still needs to dry. Okay, and on to the next red. And I picked um, Robert. Wow. Robert. Oh, oh, I shouldn't have shook in that. Somebody's going to be like, what is she doing that for? Bubbles, bubbles. I know. Okay, so. I was going back and forth between Valentine Red and Robert Oster Blood Red, and this is just, it's my favorite red. As you can see, I only have half a bottle left because I really use this a lot, especially at the holiday time. Okay. Okay, and the second person I'm going to tag is uh, Carrots and Olives. Uh, but I believe her channel name is just Carrots Olives. But I will double check everything and I will... Like I said, I'll put them in the link so I don't make any mistakes when um, <clears throat> recommending these people. And she has the fountain pen collection to envy. She just has the most magnificent collections of pens and pen storage. Uh, some beautiful planning um, pages that she does. I just, I really enjoy her, her channel. Okay, uh, next is orange. And I was gonna do Diatrementis Peach Ink, but yeah, it smells like peach. I don't know, should I do peach or, I don't really love this color because it doesn't really have any shading. It was one of the first scented inks that I bought, I could do a whole video about scented eggs, but it's not gonna be very positive. <laughs> um, I'm gonna choose uh, the Organic Studio Oscars Copper. That's what I have in my Twisby 1.1 over here. And I just love this. I went to buy it on uh, Vanessa Pens, but it was out of stock. I bought the sample and I really enjoyed it, even though I said in another video that if you have ancient copper, you don't need Oscar's copper, but I really want, I want it. So that is okay. 
I'll give you more close-ups <clears throat> in a minute. Okay, the next person I want to tag, and some of these people have large channels, like they don't need me to, to tag them, but um, their channels are just beautiful and I, I love to watch their videos. Toxmont. And she just has a beautiful minimalist style, which I appreciate. I'm not a minimalist. <laughs> um, I'm definitely more of a maximalist, but I really enjoy her videos. Okay, and the next is yellow, and the only yellow because pale inks on... Um, just really difficult to read on paper, but I have used quite a bit of this in when I first like started my fountain pen journey and I was doing lots of um, like not really great sketches, but some drawings and stuff like that. And I, I did use up a lot of this Golden Sands. And I think I gave out some samples too. Uh, it's Diamond Golden Sands. Just shook it up to get a little bit of the shimmer in there because it is really pretty. Oops. Let's see what we have so far. Okay, and the next person I'm going to tag is, oops. <clears throat> Holden writes. And I believe she was from, I don't know if it was London or Germany, somewhere in Europe, but she's here in the States now. And she does very casual, like journal with me videos. And she has a pretty cool selection of uh, vintage pens. And yeah, she's cool. I like watching her videos too. Very relaxing. Okay, so what's next? Green. This goes without saying, my favorite green color. It is Monteverdi's Emerald Green. <clears throat> and <clears throat> look at the, can you see the iridescence on the, on the lid there? Whoops, camera's over here. Where are we going? The blue and red sheening right there. Oh, just love that. Every time I open this, I get excited to see that. And I actually have to buy another bottle of this. It is getting seriously low. And if you've ever been down in the Florida Keys, there are some really pretty emerald oceans down there. <clears throat> and if you're lucky, if the sun setting just right you can really experience this color of the sea it's just beautiful okay and the next person i'm going to tag is inside kimmy's mind And if nothing else, you need to tune in just to see her great Caveco collection. She has a beautiful assortment of um, Caveco. She does unboxings, journaling. Uh, she's a serious book lover. These are the people I've tagged so far, sorry. <clears throat> so you can see that. 
And yeah, she has fun videos. I have so many saved in my playlist that I need to, I want to catch up and, and see other people's videos, but it's only so many hours in a day. Uh, the next one is sort of another uh, green, it's a uh, green blue, and this is Diamine Marine. This is one of my favorite summer colors. Really struggling with the <clears throat> with swatching today. <clears throat> okay. Okay. That's Diamine Marine. Okay, and the next person is at Frenchie in Focus. And she's pretty new in the journaling community, but she's got um, quite a following. And again, minimalist style, uh, beautiful spreads, and lots of inky samplings uh, that she does on her channel and journaling and yeah she just has a beautiful style all her own so I recommend her um what is next blue and I'm gonna go with Sailor Menyo uh, Kanagi which oops sorry for my arm there is a really gorgeous blue. It's very similar to, uh, I think it's Sailor also, Soutan, but I think the Soutan has more of like a uh, red iridescent in it. This has a little bit, but I, I don't know. I remember from my samples, I believe that the uh, Soutan maybe had more. I don't know, I, now, I have, now I'm thinking. I have to go back and look at my previous ink sample logs. But this is a beautiful too. It's just a perfect blue. And I am not a fan of all of the Sailor inks. I know that's gonna be controversial. Somebody's gonna get upset. Uh, the lighter colors I really struggle with. They seem, I don't know what element it is in the ink that causes the deeper saturation, but the sailor paler colored inks, I really struggle with writing. Like they they feel super, super dry. I feel like I'm dragging my pen across the page. You know, to me, it's just very frustrating. So I tend to stay away from uh, those colors. Okay, and the next person I'm going to tag is Lease Plans and Journals. And I found her a bit ago. And yeah, she's into fountain pens and TNs. Um, she's very mindful of trying not to consume too many, um, you know, products, what's new, what's, you know, we can all use a little bit of that. Um, she uses a lot of uh, magazines in her journaling and uses them to layer uh, for effect and you know so you don't go out spending so much money on you know stickers and all the supplies that we all get carried away don't say you don't you're lying okay the next color is purple and I'm going with this deep it's like a deep berry color 
um, Tatia Ebby. And I love this color, but this jar is like forever lasting. It's like the noodlers, they fill it up to the tippy top. And I did some, some samples out, so I did make a little bit of a dent in it. But, and I love the jar design. I don't know, it's something pretty about this wide mouth. Oh, you're not looking at the jar, sorry. There we go. It's this beautiful wide mouth jar. It's more like a mulberry color than purple. Okay, and the next person I'm going to tag is... Amanda at Ink Splat. And she is just always so happy. She's like, I hear her voice and I get happy. And she does, um, it's just inks. Like all the inks, tons of sampling. She does like the um, ink flights. Like she's a great resource for um, ink colors and really enjoy her videos and she's chatty so if you like chatty go check her out and the last one I'm gonna do is another purple and this is uh, dominant industry sunset and there I'm sorry I'm not in frame how many times did I do that really sorry about that I'm gonna give you an overview of everything at the end. I need to get some of the shimmer. I'm so concerned trying to get you the closer ink swatches like you guys wanted that I'm not keeping everything in focus like I should. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I just really enjoy inks. I love the whole process. I love writing with them. I can sit and watch ink dry for hours. And this has some really pretty shimmers. We're right down to the bottom of the page. Okay, and the last person I'm going to uh, tag is, and I feel bad because there's other people I want to tag, um, but some people have already been tagged and some people have already done the videos. So, um, but I like Ken's channel. Uh, it's Ken Chan Crafts, and he has really beautiful luxury pens. Uh, he has a collection of Sailors and Leonardos, some Pilots, um, just really beautiful. I tend to stick with um, very basic colors. He has a lot of like multicolored pens, and um, yeah, he has really nice pen collection so and he has gorgeous handwriting too <laughs> everybody has gorgeous handwriting except for me <laughs> okay so let's see here we go so 
So there's the pink, or my version of pink, which would be sepia up, up at the top, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, green, blue, magenta, not magenta, mulberry, purple, and purple. This one's still drying. And these are all the people that I tagged. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.